Hello students, today our topic is to find intervals in which function is strictly increasing or decreasing. Critical point, a point on the curve y equal to f of x where f dash x equal to 0 is called critical point. Working rules to find intervals. Number 1, let y equal to f of x is a function on open interval a b. Number 2, find f dash x and put f dash x equal to 0. Find all the critical points in open interval a b. If open interval a b is not given, then take r as interval. Number 3, arrange all critical points in ascending order like x1 less than x2 less than x3 and so on less than xn. Number 4. Make intervals like ax1, x1, x2 and so on xn b. And number 5. Check sign of f dash x in each interval when f dash x greater than 0, fx is strictly increasing and when f dash x less than 0 then fx is strictly decreasing. Now, let us discuss some questions. Question number 1. Find the interval in which f of x equal to 2x square minus 3x is strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. f of x equal to 2x square minus 3x f dash x equal to 4x minus 3. Now put f dash x equal to 0, 4x minus 3 equal to 0, x equal to 3 by 4. And intervals are minus infinity to 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 is to infinity. Now we will make table to check strictly increasing or decreasing function. Interval sign of f dash x and strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. First interval is minus infinity to 3 by 4. Now here to check the sign we put any value between minus infinity to 3 by 4 to check the sign. We may put here 0 and we will see f dash x is negative means f dash x less than 0. So fx is strictly decreasing. Second interval is 3 by 4 is to infinity. Again check the sign of f dash x. It is greater than 0. So fx is strictly increasing function. Question number 2. Find the interval in which f of x equal to x into x minus 2 whole square is strictly increasing. f of x is equal to x square into x minus 2 whole square. Now f dash x equal to 2x into x minus 2 whole square plus x square into 2 into x minus 2 and f dash x equal to 2x into x minus 2 into x minus 2 plus x and we get f dash x equal to 4x into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Now our next step is to put f dash x equal to 0. 4x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 equal to 0. x equal to 0, 1, 2. And intervals are minus infinity to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 2 and 2 to infinity. Now again we make the table like interval sin of f dash x and strictly increasing or decreasing. First interval is minus infinity to 0. We can put x equal to minus 1 in f dash x to check the sign. And we see here f dash x less than 0. So function is strictly decreasing. In the interval 0 to 1, sign of f dash x is positive and therefore function is strictly increasing. In the interval 1 to 2, f dash x less than 0. So function is strictly decreasing. And in interval 2 to infinity, sign of f dash x is greater.
greater than 0. So, function is strictly decreasing. As given function is strictly increasing in the interval 0 to 1 and 2 to infinity. Question number third. fx equal to sin 3x. Find the subintervals of 0 to pi by 2 where f of x is strictly decreasing. Here f of x equal to sin 3x. f dash x equal to 3 cos 3x. Now put f dash x equal to 0. 3 cos 3x equal to 0. And 3x equal to pi by 2. x equal to pi by 6. Because x belongs to the interval 0 to pi by 2. So we take the value only x equal to pi by 6. Now intervals are 0 to pi by 6. And pi by 6 is to pi by 2. Now, x lies between 0 to pi by 6 and 3x lies from 0 to pi by 2. Therefore, 3 cos 3x greater than 0, f dash x greater than 0 and f of x is strictly increasing in interval 0 to pi by 6. And when x belongs to pi by 6 is to pi by 2. So, x lies from pi by 6 to pi by 2 and pi by 2 less than 3x less than 3 pi by 2. Here 3 cos 3x less than 0. So f dash x less than 0 and fx is strictly decreasing in the interval pi by 6 is to pi by 2. So this is the way we find intervals for strictly increasing and strictly decreasing functions. And your home assignment is complete exercise 6.2. Thank you.